whether it was pushing for reform in certain aspects of government and the law or disagreement with members of parliament over the increase in gratuity. President Waikibaki has spent 49 years of his life in this house. This was his chance to give his final thoughts and insights on the past, the present and the future. This is what he said and how he said it. Entry of His Excellency the President Mwai Kibaki. After about five decades in public service and with the last 10 years as the country's head of state, President Mwai Kibaki walked in to deliver his final speech to cap his 49 year stint as Member of Parliament. For the first time in nearly 50 years, I will not only be, I will not be on any election ballot paper. <laughs> the president, not deviating from the message that he has been keen on during his sunset days at the House on the Hill, that of constantly advising Kenyans to vote wisely during the coming election, which is a little over three months away. Let us vote for leaders who put the interests of the people first and who are hard-working and visionary. The seal has been affixed and it is presented to His Excellency the President. And the head of state cited the integral role the August House has played in implementing the Constitution by passing critical pieces of legislation that have facilitated reforms in various sectors of government, pointing to a need for consistency in this front. It will be the responsibility of the 11th Parliament to continue with these efforts of keeping the executive accountable. It is important, however, that this process is conducted in an atmosphere of mutual trust and decorum. Decorum, which he said was a constant factor during the working of the Grand Coalition government. I am grateful that we have not only served our full term, but have also significantly improved the lives of Kenyans. And on cue, members of parliament lauded the president for his work ethic and sense of consistency many describing him as a no-nonsense man. Every time we wanted to take little political gossips to him, he would not allow to be part of any political gossip. Usijioni wee mkubwa. Nimeona mengi katika dunia hii mimi. Lakini siwezi kujifanya diyo mkubwa. Mr. President, I like your style. Watu wanasema maneno mingi na wana nyamaza tu. Na wakenya wanasema maneno zaidi, endelea kunyamaza na kuongoza. Yale tumefanya ya najulikana, na inajulikana na kila mtu, hata mtoto gani. Kwa hivo, hatuna haja ya kupembeleza nyinyi au ye yote. Mr. President, as you go on retirement, know that the rest of us whom you have left behind have learned truly the slogan of Kusema na Kutenda from you. I decided to pursue a bachelor, a bachelor in law and His Excellency paid for three years, but I'm sorry, Your Excellency, I did not clear. <laughs> He continues to psychologically prepare Kenyans for his exit and has assured the country of a peaceful transition. Willis Shaburu, Citizen Live at 9, Nairobi.